Hey Horseman. Uh, it's been a long weekend. I've been working a lot and um, now I'm pretty exhausted. Uh, good news, uh, this first week of the no fast food thing has gone well. So hopefully that will continue. Uh, Max, I'm glad that your video finally appeared. Uh, I know you were having some trouble with the internet or YouTube or whatever over there um, and so it's not really your fault that it appeared this afternoon so but anyway I'm glad that it's up I quite enjoyed it um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and get mine started Well, like I said, uh, it's been a long weekend, and uh, I have I have quite a bit to get off my chest about it. There's a lot of things that happened this weekend that um, that didn't sit well with me. Even though it was a good weekend, but there were there were several things that just um, are not cool that I'm going to cover right now in a list. However, there are a lot of things. Um, about this weekend that were very good. And so to keep things upbeat, I'm going to list some of those off as well. Max, unfortunately, you fell victim to this, as we have seen. Now, I know that you uploaded your video on time and that uh, that YouTube was being uh, very stubborn and taking its sweet time uploading and processing your video. But what you may not know is that the anticipation for your video was so intense that uh, some of us here started to crack a little. For example, uh, last night uh, Molly thought for, for about an hour that uh, Thor actually could fly and uh, we had to coax Molly down off of the roof of her apartment. Uh, it was it was pretty scary. Um, fortunately, nobody was hurt, but it was it was pretty bad. Also, uh, around about midnight or so our time, um, Sarah started thinking that she was Phyllis Diller uh, because we had just watched her in a Muppet Show episode and. Um, I almost included this in my vow to lose weight, um, but they had four 12-packs for $10 at hy V, and uh, as we all know, I do love some Pespi, and uh, I think I'm good for a while. Now this has been a problem for me for some time, and it's not the first time that I've had this problem. Uh, what happens is my power cord for my computer uh, decides that it wants to slowly die and what happens first is uh, it will just simply stop charging the computer but will uh, keep it alive. Uh, the computer eventually however decides that uh, it doesn't want to acknowledge that the cord's even there and uh, eventually I have to buy a new power cord. Uh, the one that I have right now I purchased less than a year ago uh, I did buy it used online because a $25 cord is much preferable to a $100 cord. Uh, Molly, uh, in the meantime, has been very kind and letting me come over and use her power cord to charge my computer on the weekends. Uh, that charge plus mm, what my cord will do for the moment uh, keeps my computer alive throughout the week. Let's just bask in this irony for a little bit, shall we? Alright, that's enough. Now this one really, really, really irks me. On the night of the 4th, uh, while we were celebrating with uh, a lot of people, with fireworks and everything, uh, a few people in our company decided that uh, in between every firework they were going to sing a patriotic song. 
which, you know, was fine, and I joined them for the first one, but after that I figured out that there were more uh, fireworks than there were patriotic songs to be sung, so I stopped. After the finale, uh, the group that was leading the singing decided that it was time to sing the national anthem, which I'm okay with. That's great. It's our nation's Independence Day. It's our nation's birthday, if you will. Um, so singing the national anthem is entirely appropriate. However, no one stood for the national anthem. You can call me old-fashioned if you want to, but I was really upset by this. Now, I stood. Um, Arthur also stood. Aaron eventually stood, but I think that was more because the song was coming to an end and he was needing to go inside. But nobody else stood. And, I mean, okay, I think, you know, that it's... It's not just etiquette to stand for the singing or the playing of the national anthem. Now, I think it's an obligation that we have as American citizens in honor of our country, which has given us so much, and our predecessors, our ancestors have given us so much, and we really do take it for granted. Now, Aaron, you ranted last week, this is my turn now, and I know that you disagree with me, and most of you probably do, and that's fine. I brought it up at work yesterday and was heckled for it, and I don't see that this is a laughing matter. It's really not. It's a matter of respect for our country. Now, granted, our country has its flaws. Every country does. But, why shouldn't you be proud to be from a country that has so much? Why wouldn't you be proud to call yourself an American? Now, Max, I understand that your situation right now is a little bit different because you're actually not in America. And especially in some of the places that you might have gone, France, for example, um, they, they probably would have spat on you or something. I, I don't know. I've never been to France. But apparently being an American in France isn't really such a, a good good thing. But we're in America. And least of all, on the 4th of July, you could get up off your picnic blanket or out of your lawn chair for, oh my gosh, two minutes to sing the national anthem. Okay, I'm done with this one now. Now, with that all said, it was a delightful evening. Um, it was great hanging out with everyone and meeting Ron's mother and uh, enjoying lots of good food and seeing people that I hadn't seen in a long time. Um, so, all in all, it was it was a, a good 4th of July. Um, didn't get hit with any Black Cat bottle rockets this year which was good, and uh, during the finale that none of us were in peril for our lives, which I'm also going to count as a big plus. Um, so yeah, it, it was a, a good 4th of July. To whoever took my umbrella from work, I want it back. <laughs>